Hey everyone, welcome to Hollow Week! Sorry about the lack of videos lately with the hurricane and evacuating and then having no power for a while. It was a lot. So after we got home, I decided to just take it easy and focus on Hollow Week. If you're new here, Hollow Week is something I do every year for a week leading up to Halloween. On the weekdays, I post a DIY video. So since Halloween is on a Sunday this year, so I'm starting today on a Monday and then it will be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So yeah, today is the first day and I decided to make a costume for Hobbs. I feel like I've done a costume for him like every year, <laughs> but this year is special because it'll be his first Halloween as a tripod dog or a three-legged dog. If you didn't know, he had to get his leg amputated because he had a cancerous growth. He's recovered so well. People don't even realize that he only has three legs at first when they see him because he's so energetic. <laughs> Since he's a three-legged dog now, I thought it would be pretty fun to do a costume that is suited for a pet with three legs. The pretty standard one that you see a lot that I considered was doing a pirate with a peg leg. Obviously the peg leg being where their missing leg is. But then I also kind of strayed away from that idea because you see it everywhere basically. I've also seen one that's pretty pretty good where you make a fake camera and stick it on to their harness so it's like on their back because they're a tripod. <laughs> this year I opted on making him a costume where it looks like he is a stuffed animal and his leg got torn off. <laughs> For this one a lot of it is improvised. It's not like a step-by-step -step DIY how-to video. It's more of a guideline I guess. So let's get started. Hobbs is brindle colored so it's pretty hard to find fabric that matches him well. So I thought that I'd try painting this tiger striped fabric to match his coloring. I mixed together some brown paint and watered it down and started painting it on. I ended up doing a couple layers until it matched him okay. I still didn't get it perfect, but you know, eventually I had to call it. <laughs> After that dried, I used a comb to brush out the fur to break up the pieces that clumped together because of the paint. Then I made a rough pattern by laying the fabric on Hobbs and tracing around where his leg is and where his other leg was, how wide he is, all that stuff. It was kind of difficult to figure out how I was going to do this because it's his back leg that's gone. I didn't want to like cover him completely so that if he needed to go to the bathroom while he was wearing this, he would just go in the in the costume. If he had like a missing front leg, then I could easily do like a harness or something and work off of that but this is what I had to work with so I did my best I also traced out his other leg with some paper then I was ready to make the costume I laid the pattern pieces onto the fur fabric traced it and then cut them out making sure the direction of the fur is going the correct way for the pieces On the side with the missing leg, I cut a jagged hole. I cut a piece of scrap fabric big enough to cover the hole and hot glued that down.
so when it's flipped over it looks like this. Then I held back the jagged pieces of fabric and hot glued stuffing in place. Now to get this to stay on Hobbs, I sewed these buckles onto the part of the fabric that wraps around his belly. For the leg, I cut two mirrored pieces. I sewed the leg pieces together, leaving the very top open. I turned it right side out, and then I stuffed the leg and used another piece of scrap fabric and hot glued that to the opening of the leg about an inch in from the edge. Then I hot glued more stuffing to the end. And that's pretty much it. Here it is on Hobbs. It's not the best color match, but I tried. My husband said it looks like he's wearing a Flintstone diaper. I may go back later and repaint it some more, but right now I'm leaning towards just calling it as it is. I hope you guys enjoyed today's first Hollow Week video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all of that good stuff. Do you guys have any other costume ideas for a three-legged pet? I'd love to know. Leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!